Hi everyone and welcome back to our online multiplayer series. In the last episode we showed how to do replicated animations and we're going to carry on with something similar with that and that is how to replicate montages uh, because today we're going to show how to replicate the character shooting their weapon. So um, as you can see I've just imported in a asset from the asset marketplace and attached it to my character. Nothing special, just go it to the socket of the hand and manipulate it around to make it look like it's holding it. And that's all I did. So what we're going to do today is add it so that when we're aiming with this, we can shoot. So at the moment, if I push play, I can aim, but I can't shoot nothing. Okay, it's just going to aim. So let's go through that process and uh, of getting that working. So on your content here, I've got the animation starter pack. So this is what I'm going to use for animations. You may have your own or you may be using this it's up to you entirely, but we need to make some montages first for this to actually do its job. So I want fire rifle hip. So I'm going to right click on that, create and in montage. And I want fire rifle, rifle iron sights, create and in montage. Then I'm going to go into each of these montages and Okay, and then if you go down to the left hand side, you'll see blend option. Now, because these are quite fast montages, your blend is going to be a bit too long. So we're just going to knock that down to zero. And this one down to zero. And that makes it so you can actually see the animation properly being played out. And if you do that for both montages, because they are quite short montages. So make that zero and then make that zero. Save. Next, we're going to make it so that we have a slot for this. So we're going to go to Animation Slot Manager, and we're going to go Add Slot, and we put this in a slot of the upper body. This will make it so that later on we can combine it with the bottom half of the mesh, so they can walk and shoot at the same time. Once you've made it, uh, added your slot, go over to where your timeline is, click on where it says Slot here, and change that to uh, Slot Name Upper Body. Now it will stop moving, um, you just want to go into your Asset Browser and let's clear that and drag in that animation again and there you go. Okay, hit save and we've done that. And again you want to do it for the other, act, uh, other montage as well. So I'm going to go over to the slot, slot name, upper body, delete what's currently there and put in our hip fire asset. And there we go. And that's all the work we need to do to our montages. Next, we need to make it so we can actually see the montage being played when we click the button. So let's go into the event graph here. Now, I'm going to use my left mouse button to handle this, and I've got that assigned, uh, assigned to an input in my project settings. So if you don't know how to do that, you go to Edit Project Settings, go to where it says Input, and you'll see I've done Shoot here for left mouse button. So I'm going to right click here, search for shoot and there it is so this will trigger every time i push the left mouse button and i'm just going to put this near the aiming code because that's all together okay so when we shoot let's just do it the simple thing first of all get it just to shoot when we want it to shoot so here i'm going to do an is aiming check because i've got an iron sights animation and a hip fire animation i need to know which one i'm using so we're going to use is aiming to determine, determine that then from there, we do a branch to there, and then we do a play animation montage. Play any montage, and choose if it's true here. Is aiming would be iron sights, and then copy and paste that down here, and change the animation to the hip montage. Okay, and that will do there. Next, when working with montages, make sure that you go into your animation blueprint, go to the animation graph, and you want to make sure that you've got this sort of setup where you've got your slot being used. So let's take a look at how we can use this. So I've got my locomotion with my aiming locomotion normal tied into my blend poses. And what I'm going to do, instead of using default slot there, we can disconnect this and this, and I'm going to cache this motion here. So let's cache this. And I'm just going to save it as a locomotion cache. And with that using that cache, we can then use that with this slot here. 
So get locomotion cache and plug that into there. Check, click on the slot and change it to use the upper body slot. So what's happening here is our, we've got a simple two state machines here being fed into this blend. So is aiming going to use this one? If it's not aiming, it's going to use this one. And whatever it is, the output's going to be stored in a cache. We're then going to use that cache to manipulate the top half and bottom half of the, of the mesh. So we need two use cache poses. And then we're going to do a layered blend by bone. So the base one would be this top one here. And the second one would be this one here. And then the final result will go into result. Next, we're going to go and change the bone that we want to blend it from. So click on layered blend by per, uh, per bone, go to its details panel, go to layer setup, expand it all open until you get the branch filters. And this is where you want the split to happen between the top half and bottom half. So let's click on the plus icon here. And we're going to name this one, in this case, spine underscore zero one. And that's the name of the bone that we want to split out. So to check that, we go to skeleton, and there's the bone we want to split out. So what's actually happening here is it's saying if a uh, base pose, this is going to be the underlying po pose, okay, this uh, locomotion. So it's normal walking around doing stuff. If the um, montage is being played here, this slot here will actually override and go on top of this one. It will, it will replace the, any of the animation happening here. However, we only want to split it from the half of the body. So saying spine zero one here is going to blend between this one and then this one, combining the two, laying them on top of each other. And then it goes into our final output pose here. So let's just push play and see what happens. So we've got our two clients here on the left and we've got the server on the right. Now I could server, you can see I can aim still in the client windows that's fine we did that in the last episode but if i shoot here the server works but not the clients okay it's not replicating across to the clients and if i go to a client controller you can see i'm, I'm animated in the client view but not in other views that's because this is not yet replicated so how do we replicate a montage so the way we do this, at least the way I have found to do this as simply as possible, is we go into the uh, the graph here. We've got the normal offline code here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a multicast custom event. So MC shoot gun. And on MC shoot gun, we're going to do something quite similar to this here. So as you can see in all the other ones we've done of this in the past. So for aiming here, we've done execute on server, set the uh, value and then change the, the effect. And if we go to other ones we've done, so sprinting, we got the code here on custom event here being called here and changing the effect. So we need to put the effect on there too. So I'm going to copy and paste that into the bottom here, like so. Right, this is going to be a multicast. So we can click on there and go to replicate and change it to multicast. This is because we want all the clients to replicate this animation. However, there's a slight problem with this. Um, if we were to call this here, Okay, if we were to call this here, the client would call the multicast, but the multicast here is going to be overwritten by what the client's doing, that the, the server's doing, sorry. So, for example, if I were to push play on this and just organize the windows, so left again, we've got the clients, on the right, we've got this uh, the server. So, the server, no problem, we can see that an, uh, animating across to the client here. So both clients are animating the, the server character. That's fine, because remember server is king, so if the server sees it, so do the clients. So if I go now into my client here, I can aim, I can shoot, but the animation isn't replicated across, okay? Because the server hasn't been told to replicate, therefore it is not copying over. So how do we do this? Well, what we're actually gonna do is do an RPC in between. An RPC is a way to remotely control 
what is going on here. And it stands for Remote Procedure Call. So I'm going to create a custom event. I'm going to call it RPC Shoot Gun. And we're going to go over to the right hand side and say Replicate and change it to Run on Server. And then we're going to call MC Shoot Gun from that RPC. So it, when the client clicks on it, it's saying tell the server that hey I've shot the gun and tell and then prepare to tell everyone else to shoot uh, shoot the gun on their screen too and which then in turn calls this and the server is now in control of everything that's happening here so all we have to do then is go up here change this from mc shoot gun so when we click the button it calls it rpc instead and plug that in so now when i click compile let's take a look what happens So again, clients on the left, server on the right. So the client now, if I were to shoot, let me get into view and all the other cameras, you can see now the animation is now replicated across the whole entire thing. Because what's happening here is I'm left clicking on the top window there, and that is then sending it to the server, and the server is then telling everyone to copy what they're doing. If we go to the server view, you can see it all working there. If we go to the last client, if I, if I get into their view, you can see animation is copying over as well. And that's it. So to recap how you uh, replicate in a montage, montages need to go through an RPC first via this, it's like, sort of like a proxy. So it goes through the RPC and tells the server, hey, everyone needs to do the shooting gun animation, do that shooting, shooting gun animation. And that's what this is doing here. And that is it. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to do about talk, uh, taking damage and showing that damage replicated across the uh, network. So if you want to watch the next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily, where you can watch that episode plus many more episodes in various series across my channel. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. None of this would be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. That's all from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.